hello good day and welcome to today's tutorial on estuarine aquatic habitat and um eloquati jennifer at the end of this section you should be able to define estuarine aquatic habitat on your own state the characteristics of an estuarine and describe the type of estuaries. Let's go over to our introduction. Estuaries are unique environments to which plants and animals have specially adapted. Now, estuaries are protected from ocean waves by reefs, barrier islands, headlands, and deltas. There is transition from land to sea and fresh water to salt water. That means in what occurs as an in an estuary is that there is transition from the land to the sea and fresh water goes to salt water. Now estuaries transport and trap nutrients during this movement. And segment through the combined action of freshwater flow, wind, waves, and tidal actions. Now, let's look at what an estuarine habitat is. An estuarine habitat is an ecological zone where river and sea water meet to establish a brackish condition. A brackish condition has no salinity which in fluctuates with the teeth and wet and the dry season it is neither fresh water nor salt but the intermediary between it occurs where fresh interact with fresh water characteristics of estuary the valley of the river is usually shallow at the estuary. There is mild wave action. The freshwater flows downstream in the river mixes with tidal sea weather. The land is low lying. Estuary water has low specific gravity than normal sea water. Hence, marine animals which float in the sea water may sink and do not do well in estuary water temperature changes in estuarine are small because of frequent inflow and outflow of now let's take a look at the types of estuaries we have the barbute estuaries we have the tectonic estuaries we have the coastal plain estuaries and then we have the flawed estuaries now the barbut estuaries form when a shallow lagoon or bay is protected from the ocean by a sand bar, sand delta, or barrier island. While the tectonic estuaries are caused by the folding or faulting of the land surfaces. Now, when we talk about the coastal plain estuaries, now these coastal plain estuaries are formed by the sea level rising and filling an existing river valley. Now that brings us to the ford estuaries. The ford estuaries are created by glaciers, and this occurs when the glaciers carve out a deep, steep valley. Let's look at the importance of the estuaries. The estuaries are well protected. They have less wave action, thereby acting as nurseries for both freshwater and ocean dependent animals. Tidal influences and absence of life, abundance of life, also create a wealth of food. Estuaries 
estuary animals many types of animals are found in the estuaries in fact the complex food web found in an estuary helps to support an amazing diversity of animals the decaying plants are eaten by microorganisms now microorganisms are my animals so tiny that you need the microscope to see the microorganisms are eaten up by small invertebrates now an invertebrate is an animal without a backbone fish like crab and stickleback then eat the invertebrates many of the fishes we eat are dependent on estuaries Examples are, we have the birds, example of the birds, the great egrets, herons, and other shore birds. We have the invertebrates, example, the shrimps, the hermits, crabs, clams, oysters, and etc. We have the, the, we have the vertebrates, the steriflorda fishery. Pacific spiny lump soccer and then we have the murmurs example river of stars harbor cell now let's take a look at plants found in the estuaries an estuary biome provides an ideal environment for a variety of plant species which live year round on both fresh and salt water and provide food for animals. Examples of such are the spike grass, which is also known as salt grass. We have the purple loser strip. This plant consists of a rigid stick with malted root heads. We have the smooth cord grass. We also have the sea lavender, which is also known as Lemunum nashin. In summary, I've told you that estuaries are unique environment adapted by animals and plants. I've told you that brackish condition has no salinity. You are, we've also made it known that estuaries has no specific gravity, which makes it um, impossible for animals that float to stay in that space. And also, we've listed the, the types of estuaries, which are the barbules, estuary, tectonic estuary, ford estuaries, coastal plain estuaries, and also listed the animals, plants, vertebrates, and birds that stays in the estuaries and also the fact that many animals consumed by humans depend on estuaries for their continuity okay we've come to the end of this section and um, here is an exercise I would love to do okay number one what is an estuarine aquatic habitat I want you to tell me what the types of estuaries are and list two plants and animals found in an estuary please don't forget to submit your answers to jumo smith at edufest.tv mm -hmm.